Celebrate good times, come on. Ah, Mitsurugi. Now, let's talk about a character that got some pretty awesome buffs in this, uh, in this patch. 2-2-K got even nicer, and I already thought that it was pretty nice. Uh, you also have the ability to get into Shura Blade, uh, significantly better without using meter. Uh, yeah, you basically just said the gist of it. Uh, 2 2 k already good because it's, a uh... It's a tracking horizontal low, but you add a plus four on counter hit on top of that. That's pretty nutty. Yeah, I can think of a horizontal low. I wish that was on. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? I mean, why, why does Mitsu have the better? Well, mine does have that. So. Must hey, be nice to have lows, dude. It, it, well, it'd be nice to have a safe three B. Can ring out. It's all kinds of cool stuff. Well said, but Xander looking at a perfect round. Yeah, he actually picked a fantastic character for this situation. Either one, because of the character ignorance, or for two, he just to sit. Now, I know Noah is a Mina player. I, I don't think I've seen his Mitsu before. Am I thinking of the right guy? Don't I normally see him hey, that this is for Mina? Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, if you take the, the letters in Noah's name and you switch them around, you get this is actually Kashi? I knew it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely outranging Mitsu, which I do think is the major weakness of the character, is not really having the ability to uh, beat out some of these longer range characters. So, uh, you know, either subconsciously or consciously, Xander knew exactly how he was going to want to try and play against this, uh, this Mitsu here. And I think the health of Plick is pretty good because um, yeah. it, it feels that, like, if Noah went for. Uh... Uh, Sung Mina instead, then I think Hilda has some tools to, you know, challenge uh, the zoning tools that uh, Mina has, plus being able to brawl uh, arguably better than Mina in the close range. It depends, though, because a lot of the way that, as far as I know, I don't know a lot about Hild, but it depends on, like, uh, Hild has the ability to pressure a lot in close, but a lot of that is off of, like, safe mid horries, right? But Mina has the 4k auto GI, and that's kind of a lot, so it kind of depends. Okay, so that's a that's a high damage uh, low that uh, Mr. Ruby has. Uh, just enough damage, uh, just closing out with the BB. Yeah, uh, significantly linear, but has another low that's almost just as powerful that I remember quite well from a previous game. Xander uh, with the meter advantage. Seems like Noah was able to figure out quite quickly how he was supposed to interact. Oh, wow! Ends up getting a 4B Shades of JJJ from SC5. <laughs> Nice duck. I kind of wish he was getting something better than just like the first hit of uh, of the Wall Rising B. Ooh, ends up running into that. Yeah, you can't really do anything about that. Oh, and he doesn't know that this. Oh my god. So much character ignorance drowned into Noah's throat. Oh man, so many different things. Ends up trying to mash in a situation where you can't mash, then doesn't block the low slash jump the low into another tech trap. So Xander clutching that out with uh, the opponent not knowing what's going on. Yeah, mashing on the wake up and then going, you know, putting himself right into uh, a tech trap. Uh, basically, just a, a vortex created by Xander on this Hilda. Very well done. A lot of damage back to back. I'm sure that uh, Xander is quite happy to see which stage we got. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I mean, I, that would be. I just assume that longer range characters are always happy to see this. I very much despise it. Nice punish. Pretty solid damage for not having Regalia. Solid damage and continues to move pretty well. Nice but speaking time. of good movement, no, well, that's a good side step into the 2-2-A. Is that a ring out? No. Not a ring out, but that's like at least 80 damage, so I'll take it if I was no well. Getting the life lead and more side steps coming in. Yeah, Maybe pretty, uh, uh, a pretty interesting tactic to deal with uh, Hill, seeing as how Hill is uh, pretty solid when it comes to the mid horizontal game. I wonder if Xander's going to pick up on that. Uh, seems to be trying to use a lot of spring pressure, and Novo, but whether no knows about it or not, is uh, sidestepping pretty consistently. Yeah, so the horizontal's got to come out now from the side of Xander. Yeah, see, he didn't charge the second hit that time because uh, he was trying to sidestep it. A lot of these sidesteps into the lethal hits are some of the scariest things that uh, Mitsu can do. Nice sidestep there, that was very risky. Oh, but the, uh, the old... Salmon no one blocks this, that's 3KA with the regalia. That is a follow-up, so you gotta respect it. Or at least have the, um, the presence of mind to uh, continue blocking when he has that uh, regalia. 
screen KA. A lot of damage if you're not blocking. Noah getting a lot of uh, situational uh, luck here. Ends up counter hitting Xander quite a lot, but then Xander decides to, realizing that the strings aren't necessarily working when he's not in Soul Charge, has decided to use strings in Soul Charge, and it looks like it's working out. Come ducking. Nice block, nice block and punish. That's going to be a ton of damage. Once she has a regalia, if she gets the right punish, that uh, that damage is no joke. Ooh, nice jump too. Oh, Xander, just like just getting a lot of great reads, just getting like a couple counter hits, and just continues to move well. That's just kind of carrying him in this match. Yeah, out tempoing uh, the Mitsu player to such a degree. Really, the only time that we've seen Nowo have a certain level of success is when he's able to sidestep some of these strings. But uh, it doesn't seem like that offensive pressure is um, comprehensive enough to make Xander worry. Oh boy. Oh, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't even get to use the meat.